my eyes are really red because I just got out the shower. Sheesh, man. Anyway, happy Wednesday. It is also full moon. Full moons are for releasing. So if there's anything that you need to let go of, tonight is the perfect night to do so. Um, again, it's Wednesday, and Wednesday is in line with the planet Mercury. The planet Mercury is the planet of communication. Last week, I gave you three examples of my higher self verbally speaking to me. Today, I'm going to give you three examples of my intuition, a.k.a. my spider senses, spidey senses, tingling, letting me know to do something or not do something, but non-verbally. First example is 2009, 2010. Uh, winter time, I had just got in a house from work, and I was supposed to hang with my girlfriend. Um, the weather looked like it was getting worse, so I said, hey, how about we postpone because the weather's getting worse. She caught an attitude, and me not listening to my intuition, me not listening to my first mind, I just agreed to go pick her up. She lived 10 minutes from me, so it wasn't a big deal. But my gut was telling me to just stay home. I did not listen to my gut. Not only did I bust my ass going down the steps because of ice, I picked her up and didn't even get 10 minutes away from our house before we had to turn around. It took us about 45 minutes to an hour to get back to her house. And after dropping her off, it took me the rest of the evening to get home, even though I was only 10 minutes away from her house. I didn't get in the house until like 11 o'clock at night. And I was, I was frozen. I was so cold that I couldn't go to sleep. Everywhere I went to get home, I got stuck. And like I messed up the engine in my car, trying to go up hills and sliding back down. And it, it was just terrible, all because I did not listen to my intuition telling me to stay the fuck home. So that's the first example. Second example, uh, 2016, I worked for a solar company and I had just transitioned to the maintenance department. The very first day of the maintenance job, we also had a, a company-wide meeting um, where they implemented a no tolerance rule for anyone being caught on the roof without uh safety harness and without being tied off no tolerance first day we go out me and my my uh, tool partner we go out we go up on the roof no harness not tied off uh i think i got down and like i had this nervous feeling in my stomach was which was my intuition telling me bitch you need to stay on the ground. I did not listen. I went back up on the roof, went to the peak of the roof, and as I got to the peak, I could see on the other side of the house, on the street, OSHA. I saw an OSHA vehicle pull up. I immediately got down, let my tool partner know that OSHA was here, and we were pretty much fired. Uh, yeah. All because I did not listen to my gut. Third example of uh, my intuition telling me to do something or not do something 
working at Crofton High School with my friend Dave. We were working with the Masons and we stepped away for a while because they, you know, everything was caught up. No one needed us. We stepped outside on the side of the building just to get away. And we were there for a while, chit-chatting and everything. And I just had this feeling that we needed to move. And so we moved. Now, the project manager or superintendent, whoever he was, um, even though we felt like the job was going well, he was just, I don't know, I don't want to call him an asshole. But, you know, I don't even want to say he was no tolerance, but I guess, I don't know, he was in the mood that day. Or have been in a mood. Uh, previously, our uh, friend had gotten fired for sitting down, watching the Masons. So, I mean, technically he was working, but he was also sitting down. And project manager didn't really like that. So, you know, he got fired. So that had just happened within like a week or two. And so that same energy was running, you know, was lingering around the job. So nobody wanted to get caught not doing anything or just standing somewhere, uh, not in our work area. That was a long story. Anyway, um, so we moved. We moved around the side of the, the other side of the building and walked through the doors came down a hallway and as we're reaching the I guess the intersection of the hallway uh the project manager superintendent person started walking by he walked by and I looked at my friend Dave like I'm glad I listened to my intuition so yeah there are times where I listen to my intuition and and then there have been times where I did listen to my intuition. And those times, it, you know, had a big impact uh, on my day, on my life. They were like huge lessons that I had to learn. You know, so it pays to listen to the cues that our intuition has given us, even though it, they are not verbal. They are, still, they are still cues that we need to be aware of. Um, I'll also give you a bonus example involving um, my wife. In 2011, maybe like a month and a half after meeting my wife, um, she was actually in a relationship and her boyfriend was out of town visiting his dad in, I don't know, North Carolina. And they were unhappy. They were not, I don't even know what they were, to be honest, but whatever. Um, so I came over and I was only supposed to come over. I wasn't supposed to stay over, but I ended up spending the night. Now, before we went to bed, my intuition was like sounding the alarm, like you you cannot stay. I didn't say that, but you know, I just had this feeling in my gut that I should not stay, but I didn't listen. Uh, I spent the night, we were knocked out sleep. Boyfriend came home. Me and my wife are like all hugged up on each other and she wakes up and sees him standing there, scares the shit out of her. She says that he was looking like, you know, to observe how we were holding each other. And um, he didn't really say anything, but once she woke up, she woke me up and... Uh, I just turned over and looked at him and then I rolled back over and went back to sleep. 
I am not sure exactly why I did that, but I think I'm an asshole. Maybe. I don't know. I never felt like my life or her life was in danger, so I don't know. I just rolled over and went back to sleep, and then she woke me up again been saying it I had to get up so I got up and you know yada 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 I had to leave if I listened to my intuition that would have never happened of course naturally they you know they broke up um (laughs) because they're married now um been together for 11 years 11 it's 11 it's 11 now uh yeah 11 going on seven years of marriage yeah yeah i should have listened to my intuition but that was also a lesson for the both of us but i it could have it could have really went bad i a former friend of mine was really upset with me for risking my life like that because she had um, a friend in a similar situation where the guy like beat the shit out of her. And so I totally understand. But again, you know, I never felt like my life was in danger. And I know when my life is in danger. I That feeling I listen to. Um, but yeah. Follow your intuition. Listen to your higher self. It's a tool in your toolbox. Be open to receive the messages that are being given. Uh, What else? Don't doubt your first mind. Follow your gut. Don't doubt yourself. Yeah. All right. That's all I got. I wanted to stay true to my word and post something on today. It should have happened earlier in the morning, but whatever. It's still Wednesday. So that was three examples with a bonus, a bonus example of why you should listen. Well, no, three examples of why was it? three examples of my intuition aka my spidey senses telling me stuff non-verbally yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna redo the video just for that you get what i'm saying i love you i hope you enjoy the rest of your night happy wednesday happy full moon remember full moons are for for releasing So if you need to let go of something, anything, whether it's an old way of seeing things, old beliefs, um, regrets, if you need to forgive yourself or someone else, if you need to release worrying and uh, paranoia, release anything, tonight is a great night to do it. Take advantage of the entities the energies that are readily available to you. All right, that's all I got. I love you. Good night.